There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. Well, go get her! Go get her! Go get her! Go on, go get her! Yes, go get her! Go get Lily! Get Lily! <laughs> okay. Water. Oh, come on, get him. Guys, these are my gloves. They're not chew toys. Get him. Down. Lily, come here. Oh, give me that. Jeez, what an ordeal.
Oh, good puppy. Good puppy. <clears throat> now you gotta bring me the piece of pipe. You gotta bring me the piece of pipe, Billy. Come. Eggies. One egg. No, 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 no. <laughs> Two eggs. Hell, duck stampede there. Those go in my pocket. No, no, no. Get. <clears throat> there you go. See? Duck egg. Little duck house we made for him. I gotta get him some fresh straw here pretty soon. Get, get, get. I bought this fencing. I bought this fencing used from a guy. Paid two hundred dollars for it. I got ten eight-foot panels, four feet high. There's the rest of it over there behind that stuff. It's really good heavy duty stuff. It's a tool cage from like a commercial site. It's part of a tool cage. In fact, I even have the door frame and the door over there so I could re-erect it as a tool cage, but it makes really great fencing. I'm gonna try to clean it up and paint it. It's in really good shape. <clears throat> all the duckies all the duckies are doing wonderful <clears throat> you can see that I've got three males they're the ones with the dark heads with the ring around their neck there's three males two of them are Rowan. These two guys here are Rowan. The one over there, he's what's known as an apple yard. That white duck back there and that drake are apple yards. <clears throat> They're related to the. Man, noisy traffic. They're related to the Rowans, but are prolific breeders where the Rowans really are not. So. They don't, uh, they don't lay nearly as many eggs 
as the round ones do. But they've got that, look at the iridescent green on their heads. Really pretty. Beautiful feathering, the curled tail feathers. <clears throat> Versus the hens, which are, you know, they're dark brown, but they've got that blue and white stripes on their wings. They're real pretty too. We're gonna see a little duck on duck action here in a minute. That, Drake was looking a little bossy there for a second. <clears throat> now I've got I've got six hens and I'm getting six eggs a day. Right now in the middle of winter time. At a time of the year where chickens would not be laying, I'm getting six duck eggs a day from six drakes or six hens. So and fertile eggs thanks to my three drakes. Problem is <clears throat> I don't have an incubator. I need to get an incubator. A good incubator. I bought a cheap one last year and that turned out to be a complete bust. It was a waste of money. I need to get a halfway decent incubator and I'll start hatching out some eggs. I'd love to do that. Soon. Let me get my own place and then I'll start doing that. In the meantime, this makes for a nice little duck pen, you know. We got a couple tea posts up along the front porch. Your little duck house which has got straw in there they can bed down and nest in. They got a range feeder here which I have to fill about every two weeks. I put a 50 pound bag of duck food in there every two weeks, $10 a bag, give them plenty of fresh water, although they turn it into mud almost within seconds of me pouring fresh water in there. <clears throat> every time, I mean, I'll, I'll take their dish and scrub it out, wash it out nice and clean, put super fresh water in it. Five minutes later, it looks like that again, mud water. So, they eat, and they get in there, and they mess it up. And they eat, and they mess it up, so. They sure are pretty, though, aren't they? Duckies! That one drake sees standing on one leg. That's what they'll do to warm a foot up. They'll pick up one foot, bring it up into their feathers, and warm their one little foot up from the cold ground. Because the ground's cold. It's froze out here. Or they'll be like that one hen. She's just laid down and pulled her feet up. She's keeping her feet warm that way. Or they'll go in the duck house and get warm. It's got lots of straw in there. But they do like being outside and they do like drinking the muddy water out of the puddles. Weird ducks. Look at him squiggling his butt. <laughs> a little butt squiggle, a little ducky butt squiggle. That's a happy duck. Equivalent to a Labrador wagging his tail. A little ducky wagging his butt. A little butt squiggle. Love it. Love seeing that. Just a motorboat in there in that water. <clears throat> well, what are the lads doing? What did they get to? There they are. There they are. What kind of trouble are you guys into? Huh? What are you doing? This tree came down. We had a big storm here the other day. I've got, uh, Johanna bought this electric plug-in corded electric chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> 50 bucks, it was a real piece of garbage. But I'm gonna have to use that to try to cut this tree down. I don't know if it'll hold up. We got a little tree out in the front here we took out with it and cleaned up. This is gonna be a lot bigger project. Maybe the next day or so I'll get out here and start cutting that up, but I don't know if it'll survive that. <clears throat> What's the matter, Rose? That's what I want to see. Did you see there where Buster was smelling Lily's butt? Lily's not in heat yet, but she will be coming in soon. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Yes, I'm going to go sit down and no, you can't eat my camera. No, you cannot eat the camera. No, good boy. Good boy. Get down. Well, if you want me to take it, give it to me. <clears throat> A little he's funny like that. Here he comes. Nope. He's not going to bring it back to me. The only ones that bring back to me right now are Lily and Mercury. Mercury will bring stuff to me. And all of them are pretty good about leaving the ducks alone except for Sunflower. Sunflower likes to chase ducks, which is going to get her in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> a 
lot of trouble. It's going to be expensive. Hi there, sweetie. That right there is Rose. That's Rose and Sunflower. The two girls. They enjoy being out here running all over the place. <clears throat> I enjoy being out here with them. It's just a great way to spend some time. You know? Oh, oh, you found your other chew toy. Give it, give it, give it. The other chew toy I throw for them. I can't throw with a damn left handed. <clears throat> I know I did that. <laughs> no, get, 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 get. I'm filming here. You got a three-way, four-way tug-of-war going. Three-way tug-of-war going. The other day, I threw a big stick out for him. Had a five-way tug-of-war going. Oh, oh, another one in there, four-way. Oh, just trying to bite ears. Two-way tug-of-war. Someone's going to win. Three-way. <clears throat> They're so funny. Hi, sweetie. That was Mercury just came up and jumped on me. All right, well, let's call them in. Let's call them in and call it a day. So they break the eggs in my pocket. Nope, three eggs still. I'm gonna jinx myself and I put the eggs in my pocket on my hoodie. So far, I've yet to break an egg. But now that I've said that, guess what's gonna happen? Probably just jinxed myself doing that. All right. Let me go put the eggs inside before they get broken. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Let's go in. Let's go in. Go on in. Go on in. Come on. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come here. Come on, Sunflower, come on. Sunflower, why do you make me do this? Come on. Go on in. Go on in. And Rose. Always down to Rose. Always got to go catch Rose. Really here. Here, here. Sit. <clears throat> no. <laughs> I got a butt. I had a butt. Now I got the whole dog. Oh, gosh, you're getting heavy. Yes, you are. You're getting heavy. You're getting to be a heavy dog. Go on in there. All right, guys. Whew. That's it. That's all you get. <clears throat> well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all shore, make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toes in Zay mouth. I'd be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.